Hello everyone, Mobius1 here, doing episode 7 of my Star Wars Jedi Knight 2 Jedi Outcast Let's Play. Uh, a few things. First, uh, if you're watching a couple of my episodes back, I've noticed that the brightness was kind of low. A lot of the uh, interior levels look a little bit dark, so I bumped the brightness up a little bit. Uh, let me know if it looks washed out or if you like it a little bit better, though this level as a whole is kind of brighter than the previous ones. So maybe we'll have to wait until the next video to see that. Uh, in addition to that, I turned the shadows off, or I made them simple shadows, so it's just like a little blob on the ground instead of the volume volumetric shadows that I've been using. Uh, because let's face it, they just looked ugly. <laughs> They're really, really bad in this game. So uh, before I get started, this, uh, this is the seventh mission of the game, and I don't know if I may have made a mention in the first video that um, the first seven levels of the game you play without a lightsaber. So that would mean that this would be the last, or the uh, the level that we get it. And guess what? We do. Uh, we also get our force powers back, so we're going to start the level, and let's see what happens. So we can see a little floating holocron here. We pick this up. Uh, it says, data pad updated, new force power. So let's find out what it is. Force push. Duration, it's an instant effect. Objects or persons. Effect allows the Jedi to push objects away from himself and defend himself from missile and force grip attacks. Uh, at rank 1, Jedi uses the force to push a specific enemy or object focused on. So, force powers in this game have uh, three ranks. They can go from rank 1 all the way up to rank 3. And, unfortunately, it's a lot more of a linear system than you would initially think. Uh, it's not like the more you use it, the quicker it ranks up. Um, unfortunately, the, uh, they, the force powers rank up at certain points in the story. So after you reach a certain level, like your force powers will rank up when you start the level. Um, so we'll we'll check that at the beginning of every level to see what rank our force powers are. So another interesting thing about this difficulty level that I'm playing on is if you're playing on the normal difficulties or easy, whenever you aim your crosshair at something that you can interact with via a force power, your crosshair turns blue to let you know that it's like part of a puzzle. On this difficulty, however, it does not. Uh, so you can see these tiles on the floor with a bunch of icons, and you, if I go to force push them, uh, you see I can slide them back and forth. So this is actually our first puzzle, and you can see these arrows lining up in the middle of the middle of the room pointing at these pictures, but the question is what picture is supposed to be where, and that's where these tiles come into play. So these tiles on the wall will actually tell you what picture should be in the center of the room. Uh, take this time to also notice in the bottom right corner I now have a force meter, and every time I use the force meter, uh, or every time I use a force power, the meter drains slightly. And I will, whenever special rules apply to uh, no, force power okay. regeneration, I will be sure to note them. Alright, so here we get the next one. Let's find out what that is. Force pull. Objects only. Effect allows a Jedi to pull specific world objects to him. Rank 1 Jedi can pull certain levers and objects in, a targeting, in the targeting reticle. Can also pull one enemy. So force pull gets pretty neat later on in the game, but right now it's pretty basic. I see where I need to go, but how am I going to get up there? So there's the exit. We're going to use force pull. Whoops. Pull, rather. To pull these platforms out of the wall. Now our camera's underwater. Hopefully, it's a GoPro. It actually ran out of force power there. I had to wait for it to recharge. Now it's a simple jumping puzzle. Alright. Um, you may notice that there's some items up there. It's actually this level's only secret area, so let's go grab those. Oh no! No one saw that. Believe it or not, this is the second time I'm doing this video because something happened in the final cutscene the first time through, and made the, uh, the video was, like, super choppy. Really? Unbelievable. And yeah, I, t 
totally nailed this on the first try. Whoa, that was close. I think I know why. I think I usually do these ones. Yeah. What? Kyle, I swear to God, I'm gonna kill you. Um, on this note, Wade, I, I... Maybe it was Wade. I'm getting so so many messages now from people that I'm getting confused. Uh, I am going to uh, do a speed run of this <laughs> after I'm done recording this video. But first I want to go over all the stuff for, uh, for new viewers. So now we got a new force power. Let's see what this is. Force speed. Duration, five seconds. In fact, Jedi speeds up and slows the world around him. At rank 1, the Jedi moves 33% faster than normal. So now we have force speed. And come down here. Skywalker sure didn't make this easy. So this puzzle is actually... It's pretty straightforward once you know what is going on. It's actually, believe it or not, a remake of a puzzle from the original Dark Forces. So if anyone's played the original Dark Forces, you might remember this from the fifth mission, Gromus Mines. Um, for those of you who haven't played the original Dark Forces, I'll probably do a series on that eventually. Uh, but as you can see, these doors open, and you can't get through fast enough to get to the next room. Uh, luckily, there are these little buttons here that'll open the door to go back. But the only way for you to get all the way through is to use Force Speed. And you'll notice the uh, the level designers were really clever. They put the Force Speed logo above each door to kind of make you be like, oh hey, maybe I should use Force Speed. So we'll just do this. And that extra 33% speed boost is just enough to get us to the end. And they're like, whoa, what's up with this weird column thing rising out of the ground? Oh well, we'll just keep going. Alright, and here's our fourth and final force power for this this level. Let's check out what that is. Force jump! Effect allows the Jedi to make a tremendous vertical leap. Rank 1 Jedi can leap up to three times his normal jump height. And that's cool. Um, force jump is obviously going to be used quite a lot. And you'll notice as I scroll through my different force powers, force jump is not listed there. You actually just use force jump in this game by holding your jump key. So now I can do... Three times normal jump height, I could do front flips, back flips, side flips. I'm, I'm a freaking acrobat now. Um, so yeah, so we're gonna get up, we're back into the room where we started. We're gonna use these platforms here to kind of get up onto the second floor. Yeah! Alright! And now that we have our four basic force powers, we are going to have to combine them to solve puzzles. So in here, we're going to use Force Pull on each of these gargoyle heads, which will fill this room with water. The water will raise this platform, and once the platform is raised, which also raises that gate on the other side, we'll use Force Push, or Force Speed rather, to run across and get in before the gate closes. Now in here, this door's not working, but they kind of did the same thing they did in the force speed room. They put a little force push icon above. Of course, that doesn't work on the door, though. But this cracked wall, on the other hand... Ta-da! Um, one thing I forgot to mention, when you use force speed, you'll notice not only does it drain half of my force bar, but my force bar does not recharge while I'm using it. So that is one thing to, to keep in mind that using force speed is a, is a pretty hefty commitment. I think they put the door in just a little too high. Alright, so this puzzle used to give me nightmares when I was younger. Uh, so the door is up there, and we're going to have to use these little force jump things to get up there. But first, we have to force push the little blocks in. Now... We can jump up here, but the problem is, unless you're good at crouch jumping, getting onto that first one can be really difficult. But we're actually, we're almost done here. 
Uh, so this one is kind of like the four speed puzzle that we ran into at the start. The door we have to go through is up there. There's a room full of water here. Uh, if you do drop down, there's an exit over there that just brings you back up. Uh, and there's this horizontal platform over there that is activated by using this button. Now we're going to use force speed to run across that platform and then force jump with a crouch jump just to be safe to get up to here. Now we're at this pillar, which has these nice little pegs sticking out of it that we can push in. That's what I came for. Now how do I get it out of there? Well, the first thing most people do is try to force pull the lightsaber out. Unfortunately, you can't do that. I don't know if this thing is like protected by some sort of force barrier, or if it's just got glass on it. I, I don't know, but you can't pull it out. What you have to do is find this little platform here. When you stand on it, you'll notice that little barrier goes up as we sink down. Now there's a ramp here. We're going to use force speed, and then we're going to use force pull to pull it off of the platform once we get up there. Ready? And hiya! All that work, and now I still have to find a way out. So let's see what we got now. We have three new abilities. Force or lightsaber throw. So Jedi can throw his lightsaber and use it as a missile weapon. Rank one Jedi fly or lightsaber flies straight from the player and returns. Uh, next we have lightsaber defense. Jedi can block damage with his lightsaber. At rank one Jedi can deflect projectiles and melee attacks in a small arc directly in front of him, uh, which is cool because you'll automatically, excuse me, as long as you're not attacking, you will automatically block and deflect uh, blaster bolts. And lightsaber offense. This one's pretty. Uh, this one's kind of cool. So you actually get different fighting styles with your lightsaber. So as Jedi gains combat experience, his lightsaber attack effectiveness increases. So right now we start with medium style. The classic saber combat style attacks are medium, speed, rage, and damage. A Jedi can chain up to five attacks in a row. This style is best for fighting multiple enemies. It utilizes a neutral stance suited for both defense and attack in which the Jedi holds his lightsaber low and to the right, uh, represented by a yellow bar on the right side of the HUD. So this yellow bar here above my force meter is what uh, indicates what combat stance you're in. So obviously yellow is going to be medium. Eventually we'll get a blue, which is fast, and red, which is heavy. Uh, but right now we're stuck with medium. So medium's not bad. Uh, it's... Oh, wow, I didn't even know you could break that. Hmm, go figure. I knew you could break these. So medium is... is medium, pretty much. I mean, you're, you're not super quick with your strikes. Um, but they do a pretty decent amount of damage. Now by right-clicking, I can throw my lightsaber, and you don't really have a lot of control over it at rank 1, but eventually you will be able to pretty much uh, just aim it, and it will chop up stormtroopers. Alright, so here's the door we want to go through. We're going to cut these ropes, which drop the rocks. You must almost be done with this Oops. thing. Drop the rock. Don't drop. Or can't it's stop locked. the rock. Anyway, and we cut the lock, and off we go. I'm doing a quick save in case this cutscene freaks out on me again. You've retrieved your lightsaber. Very good. I'm ready. What did you find out about the sun? Not much. With the help of your ship's logs and the Republic's databases, we've tracked down the registry of Dasan's ship to a Rodian named Rilo Baruk. Rilo Baruk? You know him? Not personally. He claims to be an honest garbage hauler, but he's really one of the most powerful criminal kingpins in all of Narshada. Even the huts won't touch him. Sounds like a solid lead. It'll do. Kyle. Yeah? I just wanted to say how impressed I was with your performance in the trial. Considering how long it's been since you used the Force, I almost expected you to fail outright. Well, um... You've been to the Valley of the Jedi. Yes. Kyle? I know what I'm doing, Skywalker. If I'm going to defeat the Sun, I'll need the full power of the Force, and I can't afford to spend years of my life retraining myself here. Kyle, I realize you're in pain, but you must learn to anticipate the consequences of your actions. You and Jan swore an oath to protect the Valley of the Jedi. 
And now that Jan's dead, you're the only person who knows where it is. If you should fall to the dark side, you could use the valley's power for unspeakably evil purposes. Are you saying I can't be trusted? I'm saying that I want you to let go of your anger before it destroys you. I don't know if I can do that. But I will give you the coordinates to the Valley of the Jedi. Just to be safe. Well, that's a start, I suppose. Take one of the Academy's vessels to Nar Shadda. It'll be less conspicuous. Don't worry. I'll take care of the Raven's Claw until you return. You're not coming along? I'm afraid not. I have pressing business of my own to attend to. Good luck, Kyle. I hope you find what you're looking for. May the Force be with you. Right. And that's it for Episode 7. We now have a lightsaber. We now have a lead on where Dasan may be. And we're going to track him down. So we're off to Nar Shadda, which many of you may know if any of you have played... Uh, well, actually, Nar Shadda is in several other Star Wars games, but most recently would be Knights or Star Wars The Old Republic MMO. Um, so, yeah. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, thanks for watching. And if you're interested, I will be posting another video of me going through this particular mission as fast as I can. So look for that. Alright guys, thanks again. I'll see you next time.